world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing another episode of Grim Dawn. If you like what you see, drop a like and consider subscribing. Okay, when I was down below in that last dungeon that I ran, a couple things. First off, I took the burst, but I forgot to put it on my bar. Hermetic burst. It's really nice because it's a nice heal and it gives you plus two movement speed. I should be casting that all the time because it makes me move faster. When I came back to town, I'd forgotten to take, at level seven, I could have put the um, poison bomb. I happen to have uh, the i uh, mut mutagenic i and I've put that on both my weapons. Now, I'll take these off and put them on other uh, weapons because it'll be a much better uh, use. But for right now, and it also gives me a poison bomb, which having all this regen is going to be nice because it adds to my energy pool so I can put these poison bombs out and I can clear even faster. You know, and I said, I'm not going to be more of a caster character, but if the damage is there, I might as well go ahead and use it. Slip. Well done. And doing his quest is very important because it gives you your first inventory bag. And I think you're up to five or six bags that you can get now. So now I'm much, uh, much better off. I can move faster. I can do more damage. I almost started running out there just to go clear, but we'll go to Whitmire. Now, I always go down below, then I come back up. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to clear these areas because there are some... Uh, you can find uh, a couple areas to go into, caves and stuff like that that you can clear. It looks like I'm going up right now. Yeah, I want to go over here and clear this and then over here and do that. There's another uh, cave area that, I, that it's random where it pops up. And I want to try to find it because I don't want to miss it. There's a shield you can get in there, which, of course, I'm not going to use. But it's still, you know, it's experience and it's loot. And, you know, it's one of the things in the game that I want to do. I'm going to pass up on the white gear. Actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and turn the white gear off. Now I'm only going to see yellow and up. Eventually, I'll get to the point where I don't even have that up. There we go. Movement speed. Too nice. Gotta remember I have that. You're gonna see me click, click, keep clicking the burst when I remember to, oh, I didn't have my burst on. Let's go ahead and pop it. Now, you can cast it before it runs out. So it's a buff that any character that has that ability should be using continuously. Because it's just, it's too useful. Look at all that damage I do to everything around me. It's awesome. Here's one of the cave entrances. Which one is this gonna be? This is the cavern. Okay. Now I've got two. I can so I can just sit here and spam uh, poison out, or just you know jump up and kill them. Either way works too. But probably the harder enemies, I'll do that. I can throw poison right on top of them and then sit there and beat on them. And then the poison I'm doing with my weapons. Sweet. Level 10. I'll go ahead and click on the occultist, but I am not going to be putting any points in the occultist right now. Now, when I do finally do put points in the occultist, um, Curse of Foil Tree is very nice because it's going to debuff them, lower the movement speed. Vulnerability is going to reduce their acid resistance, which is on top of what I'm already doing. I'm going to get Blood of Drig because of the heal, and then Aspect of the Guardian, which is all poison damage. And I'll push all the way up and get Possession, because Possession is going to give me poison and acid damage. And I'm going to pump that up all the way, and I'll probably take uh, one point at least in Doom's Doom Bolt, which is going to be a nice hit if I need it. And then I'll probably put at least one point into 
Uh, so I was Witch Fire because that'll buff my weapon. I'll be attacking faster. Attack speed, the faster I'm attacking, the more poison that I'm putting on the enemy. And then that's about it. That's nothing else I'm going to want from the Occultist. The rest of the points are going to be spent in Nightblade. So this is going to be a very heavy Nightblade. The last time I did this build, I was more heavy Occultist because I was doing the, the casting and getting all the uh, most of my damage from poison over here. And then the Nightblade was situational. Now I'm going to be very heavy on Nightblade and not so many skill points into the Occultist. So it's a different type of build. Well, at least I'm hoping it's a different type of build. Now, I, the one thing I don't like about the Poison Bomb is it takes... It's a it's got a slow cast because it has to arc out. It doesn't have much of a range, but it arcs out. So it's a little bit slower than, than I want because my character, I can... You know, Shadow Strike and probably do most of the damage I need to. All right, check my map. All right, so I did clear this. Let's go ahead and get this little part over here cleared out. Yeah, Mending, I've got a lot. I'm not going to go back for that. I said I don't want to waste too much time. Let's go ahead and go over here and clear this area. Shadow Strike for the movement. Thank you very much. Now, an area where I know there's going to be multiple mobs spawning, I'll drop a couple poison bombs on, and that way they spawn into it, because it lingers. Why did you have to let it linger? Uh, it lingers there, and it continues to poison anything that spawns into it, or or walks through it. So it's, like I said, it's free damage. Uh, I'm not going to go down there. I'm going to go over here and then swing up. Because there are... I don't want to say randomized dungeons. I know that the that the caves are out there, but the location sometimes is, is random on where it spawns at. And that guy, that, that mob behind me died just from walking through the poison. I didn't have to turn around and, and go do anything. Oh, I hate that, that cold where it slows you down. I like to be a quick character, getting around the map as fast as possible. I like using poison on the uh, the mosquitoes. They like to use bleed. I like to use poison. I bet mine ticks faster than yours. Ha ha ha. Point the physique. Read that. Oh, poison acid damage. But I'll lose movement speed. I'm actually going to keep the movement speed for right now. Even though that falls in line with my character build. Just because I want that that faster movement speed so I can get around the map faster. All right, let's go ahead and move back up. Where, where could it be? Uh, caster. Like I said, I can teleport faster than some of that damage and it reaches further. But it's nice to drop it on a, a possible spawn area and just let the mobs spawn into it. Very, very nice. Ranged weapon? Yep. Those haven't changed. Now, I know there are mods for this game. I, it's not one to, to mod games very often. Because it's not what the, in the... Some of them are pretty good. And it's kind of funny I'd say that because... One of my favorite games to play a long time ago was Battlefield, but it was the uh, Desert Storm mod. It was so popular, and that was it was one of the best mods I've ever played uh, of a game. It completely changed the whole nature of the game. That was different, and I and I haven't tried a mod for this game, but maybe one day I will. I am very curious about what this uh, what this update's going to be or what this announcement's going to be. I'm recording all these on the weekend because it's the only time I've got an, enough time to get uh, a set of videos done just for this game. A lot of stuff's still going on at work. All right, I remember correctly, you can't get over there from here. So yeah, you can't get up there. So this is all cleared. The enemy is so... Yeah, they're, they're, they're fighting themselves up there right now. Because I kind of 
activated their their spawn area so they want to oh i'm going to go ahead and start beating on you because you're my natural enemy okay where was that battle happening because i'm right over here where it was happening you're right coming from nowhere Every once in a while, you'll, you'll throw out a poison bomb and it goes flying, you know, a good distance away. And I'm like, I, I wonder why, you know, I can get one that goes really far or when I try to like throw it all the way down there, it only goes halfway. Then you get that odd one that kind of like arcs halfway across the screen, which is nice, but just odd. Now, what's nice about Poison Bomb is if they're fighting other uh, other stuff on the map, just put the Poison Bomb out there and let the Poison Bomb finish both sides of the conflict. Now, these guys, this is where Poison Bomb is going to come in really nice. Yep. Let the Poison and Acid soften them up and then just jump in and do the kill. And you can see my... With... Uh, what is it called again? With the ectoplasm on my gear, it, my my mana is staying high up. I mean, just I can poison bomb for well, I won't say ever, but it could almost close. Cold vitality, frostburn vitality. See, I'm not getting a dagger that is poison damage yet, poison or or acid. No, it looks like most of that's all cell stuff. No problem. We still don't have to go back yet. I still have a, a good amount of inventory room available. Got past you. That mob. The eye was charging up and it's like, nope, smack. I smack you. Yeah. He's in the house. Oh, there he is. I, I tried to roll again. He's taking hits. He's taking hits. He can be... Uh, he's a tougher one. Not that he's hard to, to kill or anything. It's just he actually, you know, he seems to have more armor. He can uh, take a few hits sometimes. A little bit slower of a kill. Oh, that's a that's a, a rare spawn. That's not a, a planned spawn or a, a quest spawn. That was just a rare spawn. Don't see those very often. I haven't seen those very often. Haha, <laughs> run through my poison and die. Awesome. All right, sorry about that. I had to check something. All right, I'm gonna go down here and go ahead and clear this uh, trap door area. Should be a fun one. I always like going in this area. See, they're throwing poison. I'm throwing poison. Everybody's throwing poison around. But my poison is better. Now, the one cool thing about poison, at least now while I'm, while I'm throwing poison out, is to uh, get it at choke points. Because once they spawn, if they have to come around, boom, they just run right through it and he just melted, literally. Look at that, oh, that was awesome. It's like his insides just melted and it threw him forward. What the power of my stink. Now I've never gotten, there is a, uh, there's a pair of pants I forget what they're called. I've never gotten the pair of pants that allows you to throw poison bombs. And there's a whole build centered just around doing that. If I were to get those pair of pants, I might consider trying. Uh, it's the booger, the booger build or something like that. I I've never had the pair of pants, so I don't even know. I've seen other YouTubers and Twitch people um, 
that have had it and been able to do that build, and it looks funny. And it's 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 a poison centric, so this build would actually work for it since my whole build is going to be focused on doing poison damage. It'll fit right in. Like I said, I'm not going to say this is what I'm going to do. Uh, it's the Booger Mancher, I think is the name of the build. You didn't activate earlier. All right, go up this way. There's one more quest guy in the area. Or no, I think there's two more quest guys. It'd be nice when I have an area of effect ability that's just doing, you know, not a lot of damage, but slight damage. Be very nice. And speaking of such, that's one point in there, one point there, and that gives me another uh, chance to get a uh, to be used. This is the quick cut. I don't need it. It's not going to be adding to my overall damage, which is basically uh, the hidden hand from my poison and acid damage. But it is damage I can take, and I'm only going to put one point into it. Might as well get it done early. Shadow Dance will buff my uh, dynamic burst, making it a little bit more useful. And what do I want to buff first? It doesn't matter because I have no more points available to buff. Yes, confirm. I have one point available. Put it right there. Offense, poison, offense, poison acid. Chance on attack. One, two, three, four. I'll stay with the rat. When I'm doing poison, I like to go for the rat, so. I'm a little rat, what can I say? Oh, my inventory is completely full. There's my 10 points into physique that I like to do, and I need to go back to town because I am full. Full, I tell you, I'm full. Back to Devil's Crossing. See anything you like? Uh, probably not, but I'll check. The problem now is if I spend gold trying to buy something, unless it's perfectly uh, attuned for this character, it's just going to be something that I'm going to get rid of in 15, 20 minutes possibly if I find something better. See, this one's actually nice, but it's it's not... It's all chaos damage. The 10% attack speed's nice, but it's not nice enough because it's not, you know... The uh, the corrosive uh, tarnished cleaver of spines is really good for this character because it's acid damage. I wish it was more plus pierce instead of I mean plus acid instead of plus uh, pierce damage, but it's good. Fourteen, no, it's not. Too... I mean, some of the stuff I could s uh, save for later. Vitality, no, no. And yep, as I thought, most of it was going to be sell stuff. Iron well cool. spent. Actually, let me check your inventory. Let me see if you have a, a dagger that I might want. I would like to get uh, a couple daggers because they do tend to attack faster. And for me, faster attack, acid damage, poison damage. But the plus one is for witch fire, which I won't. I guess I will, but not for a while. Ice spike, nope. Acid poison damage. Replicating missile, though. How much is that? Uh, it's kind of a uh, expensive, and it's not that. I mean, I'll, once I put the Icor on it, it'll be better. But I like it to be better without the Icor. That way, when I put the Icor on it, it's even that much better. No, no, no daggers that really, uh, that really sing use. to me. Let's go and talk to this dude. Yes, I've talked to everybody. I've done everybody's Good, you're quest. Back. One of my scouts came back with news. Make you've proven your follow the road north. Now he's sending me off to Burwich. Do that quest. Here's your necklace. 
and she gives you the necklace back, but that necklace is not something that I'm going to use Safe right storage. now. No questions, yes. no questions, yes, I know. Whoops. Never any questions. Did make it to level 10. I don't think there's anything up here I want to switch to right now. Acid damage, acid damage. That's level 20 though. So that's way down the road. All right, let's put this stuff away. Oops, wrong one. Quest items. I'll leave there. I'll keep an eye out for this. Well, thank you very much. That's the whole point of you existing on the planet is for you to keep an eye out. Does she have her quest yet? No. Okay. And I think I've spoken to everybody out here. And you're happy, right? Barnabas! I want to make sure that if I had an out of active skill that I actually put it on my bar, which I didn't do the last time. That was funny. But no, I'm good. All right. Back to my personal portal. The map. Let's go around. The reason he didn't have a, 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 I didn't have a quest to turn in is because this last guy over here. I'm going to take care of you. He's going to walk through it, even though it's not reaching him. There we go. Poison him a few times, make him run through it, and then stand it to attack me, and then boom. Finish him off. Oh, you guys spawn in kind of late. There we go. No problem. Spawn in and die. Thank you. Chaos, vitality, chaos. I'm getting a lot of chaos stuff. Look at that. More chaos. It's utterly chaos. Next portal. Nice. Still didn't find that one cave that I was looking for. I know there I have to go back to it. It's near the beginning of the, uh, the game. I might do it later. It's not It's not one of those things that you have to do. Uh, it just has a, a nice... Um, a nice shield, but if I, you know, this character is not using shield, so it's not as important for this character to get it. I'm just going to go around and loot, and you guys run through the my poison bombs and die. That'd be nice. Thank you. Cave entrance. The cavern. That was an ominous sounding growl. Keep forgetting to do them my buff. Once I have my uh, heal from my occultist side, I'll be doing that all the time. Now that is usually poison and acid, and it has poison built bolt built into it. I'm gonna switch to that, and I'll put some icor on it. We'll go ahead and combine that right away. I kind of wish I had. Now what I could do is I could. And I'm, I'm, I don't want to do that. Really want two of those. What I can do is off screen, I'll go ahead and log out of the game and log back in. That'll reset that body and I can loot it again and I can get a second one of those weapons. Because that's a perfect weapon for this character. Well, of course, I get something nicer, but 
I'm not sure if that's going to be in the uh, cards right now. 90 poison damage over 5 seconds and plus 24% poison damage. That's it, right. My, po my poison is powerful. Level 12. Sweet. Another necklace. There's a quest to turn those in. I'll go pick them up. An altar. This isn't always here, so a nice little uh, loot drop area. See, I didn't have to worry about that guy. I just put a, a poison bomb out there and just want to run through it. You're gonna die. Yep, it melted. Poison and Axes. It, it is one of my favorite ones in this game to use because the mobs really do seem to uh, to melt when they die from it. It's just like, and like the bodies just kind of flame. There's one of those wild ones that go. There's another one, a wild one that goes. Uh, Swinging off in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Another altar? Nice. I'm getting a lot of the altars. That's very nice finds, actually. Let's go ahead and level up three points. Now I'm done putting points into uh, the Nightblade skill tree itself. I'll do that later. I don't know if I wanna put my points. I'll probably hold on to those until I need them to equip something. And then I'll add points into there. Ooh, 7% movement speed. That I'll switch over for. Yes, necklace, no. Everything else. Uh, ice bite, but it is a a dagger, and it has poison damage on it, and it has an ice spike, which is the second form of damage. Even though it's negative thirteen, to my offhand, I think I'll switch over to it, and I just gotta get ice cores on. So I have th uh, two green weapons now. Let's look on the map. Yeah, and I can go right back. Okay, well. My time is up. I've been critical. This has been Grim Dawn. If you guys have enjoyed this content, drop a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.